With all the different cat foods out on the market today, how's a pet parent to know which is the best one for their cat? Natural, holistic, grain-free, breed-specific. The choices just go on and on. In reality, no one pet food can claim to be the best. Picking the right bag of food for your cat isn't so much about reading the label on the front, but understanding the ingredients listed on the back of the bag. The first three ingredients are the most important, as these are what the food will mostly be made of. AFCO, the voluntary body that suggests nutritional guidelines for pet food, states that ingredients in pet food must be labeled according to weight, from most to least. This means that no matter how many ingredients there are in a bag of cat food, the first three ingredients will be what the food is primarily made of. If they are good, then the rest of the food will be too. The first ingredient should always be meat. Meat protein is the most expensive part of any pet food. Next, let's talk about meat, meat meal, and byproduct meal. If the ingredient panel says chicken, then that's what it is, chicken meat. Another ingredient may be chicken meal. Many people think that meat meals are bad, but this isn't true. When chicken is cooked down into a cat food kibble, it can lose 80% of its weight due to the evaporation of moisture in the meat. A meat meal, such as chicken meal, is the chicken meat that is already dehydrated, so that it then loses none of its weight in the manufacturing process. This creates a food with more meat protein. Byproduct meal, for example, chicken byproduct meal, is an inferior source of protein. Byproducts are all the leftover pieces of meat, like heads, feathers, guts, and feet. Many companies claim that byproduct meals are the same as meat meals, but they aren't. That's why they're labeled differently. This is especially important for cats. Cats are obligate carnivores, meaning that they must eat meat to survive. Cats need more meat protein than dogs. If you have noticed that cat food is more expensive than dog food, this is why. The meat protein in the food is always the most expensive part. This is also why many pet food companies will try to substitute actual meat protein with whatever they can, like corn, wheat, or rice, to cut down on the costs and make more money. Now here is where it gets tricky. If a food starts with meat, but the next ingredients are corn, rice, and or wheat, there is actually more grain in the food than meat. The meat may weigh more than the corn, rice, or wheat separately, but it does not weigh more than all of these ingredients together. Another thing to watch out for is if a grain appears in a food more than once in different forms. For instance, wheat, wheat middlings, and wheat gluten. Or rice, brewer's rice, and rice hulls. You get the idea. This practice is called ingredient splitting. Cat food manufacturers do this to make the food appear to be healthy or mainly made of meat, when it is in fact more grain than meat. This is done because grain is cheaper. Grain in and of itself isn't bad, but too much grain, or grain disguised as meat protein, is. So when picking a bag of food for your cat, Take a look at the first three ingredients. They are the most important. They should be a meat, a meat meal, and a carb. If the first three ingredients in the bag of food that you feed your cat are top quality, then he or she will live a long and happy life.